Look at the size of that thing. Holy cow. I would hate to be the guy that's eating it. Oh, wait. Shoot. How many people does it take to wrap your app? <laughs> Apparently three. Do you have a credit card? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Everybody does. Well, I don't have it. So I have it. No, I don't give out my credit card number. Why would I do that? Because I'm really special to you and you like me. And no, I mean, I like you. Listen, okay, but oh, this is a, let's just give me the credit card. I'm not giving you my credit card. Why would I do that? You just go buy shoes or something ridiculous. Well, that's exactly what I'll do. Why would I not buy shoes? I told you. Enough of the shoes, okay? That's why we took you out here. Time out. Okay. You want to see my blaster? Hey, no! Hands off the trigger! It's a weapon! It's not a toy! Well, I, I'm a child. You just gave me a gun. Listen, okay, you're 50. You're not a child. Well, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. What do you want to eat? Shawarma! Okay, I, I can... Yeah, let, let's go get a shawarma. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. And today, I'm at Pita Land in Toronto, Ontario. Liberty Village! So, super excited because today I'm here with the world's largest shawarma challenge. That's right. This wrap is over 7 feet long. I am a mere 5'11". This thing is much larger than I am. This thing is absolutely giant. And guess what we're doing today, guys? World's largest shawarma challenge. Yes. So basically, we're going to see if we can crush this thing, guys. we only got 16 minutes to do so. If we're done, look at a $100 price tag. You can order this item as a challenge, or you can order this item as like a family meal. So I would never recommend one person eating this, but again, I am a Mandalorian. So we're going to see what we can do today, guys. So with that, we're about to get started. This is the way. Let's have some fun. I don't know where to get started, because like, if you guys can't tell, it's so big, it's like not really even in the frame. This thing is absolutely giant but uh looks delicious get my helmet out of the way got some sauces got some beverages so at that everybody wish me luck i've never eaten with armor on so this will be a first but this is the way let's get started make sure you, you can kind of see me up over all right so we'll get started we'll say restaurant ready all right we'll say it's out of five four Three, Three, two, one, go! Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are eating the world's largest shawarma challenge. That is right, we are here to attempt literally what is the world's largest shawarma challenge. This thing is over seven feet long. We did measure it out as you saw on the ruler at the beginning of the video. This thing was massive guys, this thing is huge, and there is no other shawarma challenge on earth that is this big, this long. This thing is crazy. And they needed somebody crazy to eat it, and that is me. Very good. Mm. That chicken's phenomenal. Holy jump is fun. I know you said you guys married here and it's fresh, but that's perfect, bro. So we only had 60 minutes to eat this big, 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 massive thing. It does have a $100 price tag. Of course, if we ate it, we are going to get the meal for free. Uh, you can order this kind of like, like a big item for a family and or a challenge. I believe they're going to have contests actually featuring this item in the future. So that's pretty cool. Definitely nice to see that uh, kind of eating scene growing in and around Toronto. As their food, I will say, was absolutely delicious. It was my first time at Pedaland and definitely not my last time. Candy1731 is watching. Where are you watching from, Candy? Happy birthday! 
On the wrap itself, we had the chicken shawarma meat. Obviously, we then had um, I like I mean I kind of picked my my, my items, um, but I wanted like lettuce, tomato. I like the pickled turnips. I like pickles. Then there was garlic sauce. I believe there was a tzatziki sauce as well. Then we had some hot sauce on there. All very very delicious. I will say their garlic sauce here was very exceptional very very nicely flavored um, really good consistency and that chicken was very very moist and juicy um, their chicken is like it's definitely I'm used to shawarma meat often being kind of dry and this was not dry this was phenomenal so yes if you guys want a good shawarma pita land chicken was great and even in a wrap this big <laughs> yes this big guys I was very very much enjoying it even in this extreme quantity um, and I really like the wraps too the wraps were perfect like delicious <laughs> it is definitely difficult to maneuver and eat an item this large um, when like I had to basically stand um, slash half crouch because the item is just like unless I was going to start in the middle I guess I could start in the middle but starting at an end I had to kind of move and be nimble um, and especially with my armor um, which I had my full Mandalorian outfit um, this was on Halloween but I was able to take it a little bit off just to make it a little more comfortable for myself as I definitely needed that mobility. I needed to have, uh, let's say, a little bit of extra room in my stomach and in my abdomen to if, if I was even going to be able to fit this monstrosity of an absolute huge frickin' shawarma wrap. This wrap was literally 13 inches longer than I was. Uh, actually, more. This thing was over 7 feet, so this thing was over a foot longer than I am. So I don't think anybody else has actually eaten their length or more than their length in shawarmas either. So that's definitely a first as well. Going really well. I worked my way. also pushed the wrap down, so I'm sitting now. This thing is massive, massive, but very delicious. The hot sauce flavor in here. I'm, this is probably the best shawarma I've ever had. Like, very impressive, very impressed with the quality here. Oh, but this is a big thing, so let's keep going. We're gonna, we're gonna need some luck, so wish it to us right now. Although a shawarma is pretty international, for those of you who are not familiar with what a shawarma is, um, shawarma is uh, generally like a meat put on a spit, um, and then it is obviously cooked, etc. And then they shave it off, as you kind of see at the beginning. I'm sure there's other ways to do it as well, but that is the most kind of traditional, kind of Middle Eastern style of shawarma that I believe there is, and definitely what I'm familiar with. Um, so here again, they had a whole bunch of different items. This is the chicken shawarma. They also had a beef shawarma as well. Um, but yeah, so basically like delicious shaved slash cut marinated chicken in a wrap. Again, I mentioned I really like these wraps. It was like a really like nice pita, very like very tender and you know, tender, like it's delicate, probably delicate is a better word, but a great flavor on it. Um, and then again, all the different flavors, the different sauces in it, just like, you just can't beat that, you know, like traditional lovely Middle Eastern flavor. Definitely this is exactly what it was. Um, and I mean, like I said, there were seven feet of it. You're doing great, keep it up. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna try to slide this back down this way. There you go. Super delicious. I'm, I'm actually like, I'm really, really impressed. P Land guys, would recommend. If you like this video so far, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Definitely helps me out. It helps you out as well. The way you don't miss a beat. Of course, it's free. And I will say, there is some really funny and cool footage at the end of the video, guys. We had, uh, we were very blessed not only to receive a haka but also to be able to feature some exceptional costumes, um, a Jango Fett costume and some uh, child, the baby Yoda. So there's lots of fun with that. So definitely check that out at the end of the video, guys. And that will let you get to the rest of the challenge. Hopefully we can, well, hopefully finish this. No one's ever finished this thing before. Let's see if it's even humanly possible, especially for somebody to eat more than their length in shawarma, guys. So let's see what happens. I'll let you tune on in. Let me know what you guys think down below. And at that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hashtag, again, it's a little late, guys. Happy Halloween. Hope you had a lovely time. And uh, let's eat some shawarma. Jay Bunty, welcome to the challenge, Jay. Woo! Ray Ray 86 says, all 32. the best. Thank you. How are we going for time? 32 and a half. Coming up about eight minutes in, I think. Woo. 
<laughs> Super delicious, doing really well. We just went live on Instagram for those joining Instagram right now. Oh, a few things I did forget to mention, so I'll mention them now. Um, so this wrap was actually the equivalent of 18 of their small wraps. So this thing is huge. So I mean, arguably, this was could like feed 18 people. Like if you normally order, you know, one wrap or whatever, um, one small wrap, this is 18 of them. So again, not to be underestimated. This thing was again not only huge in length definitely had some good weight to it um, and then that that's just the wrap alone there's definitely at least a pound or if not just a pound or over a pound of extra garnishes and stuff all there um, not required for the challenge itself uh, it was really only to eat the wrap however there was the garnishes there so you know it's there nonetheless but anyway yeah so uh, I just want to throw that in there and uh, again let's see if we can get that win Just over 10 minutes in, probably about, about two feet left. Cool. This thing is a monster. But that is okay because this is the way. So is right. <laughs> Those of you who just joined live, I have a full Mandalorian get out, I have a baby Yoda, a child. I spoke. This thing was the equivalent of 18 small wraps. It was absolutely huge. It was massive. But we're getting it done. Let's do it. That's you it. Oh, yeah. Down to the end, and you're gonna do it. What a record, guys. World record being had here today. And you're looking at it live from Pila. Alright guys, do you like making another one? <laughs> <laughs> the next one has to be bigger. <laughs> Just gonna clean this up here guys. We're almost done. Ooh, maybe about 14 and a half, 15 minutes in. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still so delicious though, but <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to come out. Okay, I feel I feel so much better now. Ooh, let's go. They were waiting for the burps that said there were a lot of people Joe. waiting for the burps. Wow, this is unreal, guys.
Mr. Messiah says he won already in my book. <laughs> That'll leave no doubt. You, you want to talk with Mr. Good? <laughs> <laughs> What is that? You want to help us with some more chicken shawarma? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's wrapping up. <laughs> By the way, I didn't have to. All this. We're doing it. These are yeah. extras. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is on for you. So guys, download the Key Lambda app. You learn all about future contests and challenges just like this. It's all treats today, no tricks, eh, Joe? No tricks. Not yet. <laughs> This challenge is just on there. We're so happy to have Joe here. Way to go, Joe! Yeah. Oh, look at it. He's like wanting more. <laughs> wow! Where do you put that? This is on real, guys. Super delicious shawarma, just huge. Guys, this thing was bigger than me. <coughs> Excuse me. <Woo>. <laughs> <coughs> There's gonna be a few more where that came from today. Oh, so absolutely delicious food, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video. Huge thanks to Penal Land, Liberty Village location here in Toronto, guys. They have a whole bunch of locations around. You can order this again, like as a big family item if you want. I would never recommend somebody eating this by themselves. But it's the equivalent of 18 small wraps. So absolutely crazy, but so delicious. They make all their items here, and you can really taste the difference. It's authentic. I just love stuff with my teeth, but mm, absolutely delicious, guys. So that, again, huge thanks to everybody here. We're getting a meal for free, which is super cool. Maybe we'll check out some more items. We got dessert? I think we got dessert. So we have dessert. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll be back. But again, awesome challenge, guys. Until next time, hope you enjoy the video. Of course, say happy, I'll be hungry. Today is on Halloween, so happy Halloween. If you're a big Mandalorian fan like I am, this is the way everybody works. And with that, I hope you enjoy all the extra footage. A lot of fun here. And uh, until next time, come check this place out. Of course, go do what I do and happy. Day. And a huge thanks to everybody who came out today. Much love here in Toronto and at Pita Land. Thank you, everyone. Much appreciated. Great time here, guys. This was such a cool challenge. 100% recommend coming back for some food. And of course, you know, just have a lovely day, everybody. Thank you so much, everybody. Awesome. Happy Halloween. Yay. Yay. What a strange planet. What are we? We're in Earth. I guess this is Earth. Well, Mando left me uh, with you for the day, so I guess we're exploring. Wow! Because he's busy. So just look around and enjoy the sights, alright? It won't be too bad. That's too bad. So are you always this needy? Or just sometimes? Well, if you were on such an... Hey, hey, stop that. Seriously, I'm not putting up with this today, okay? Just chill. Okay, but can we go shoe shopping at least? Okay, shoe shopping, deal. So check this, uh, hey, what the, hey, get it, what, get, hey, what do you want? A sarcasm is just a weirdo wearing a mask. Listen, man, I, I don't want anything. Just, you know, have a, have a nice day. I gotta get out of here. Well, apparently I gotta take this thing shoe shopping, all right? So, you know. Okay, let's go. You know these are ladies' shoes, right? Yeah. And you really want a lady's shoe with a heel? Yeah, that looks really good to me. But you can't... Hey, what, how do you even wear this? Seriously. I just put it on. 
What do you mean you put it on? Like this one too? Yeah, I can throw the pub on. Like this? Yeah, just like that. Don't I look good? Do you want my honest? Hey, what do you mean about that? Hey, like, listen, just hey, hey, bag, back up, back up, away from the merchandise. Seriously, people nowadays. You gotta protect you, man. Like, why? Why are you so hot? Well, I want this one. You want that one. It doesn't fit you. Why would you want that shoe? Yes, it does. It fits me really well. Somebody's going on timeout. Do you have a credit card? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Everybody does. Well, I don't have it. So I have it? No, I don't give out my credit card number. Why would I do that? Because I'm really special to you and you're like, no, no. I mean, I like you. Listen, okay, but oh, this is a, let's just give me the credit card. I'm not giving you my credit card. Why would I do that? You just go buy shoes or something ridiculous. Well, that's exactly what I'll do. Why would I not have shoes? I told you. Enough of the shoes, okay? That's why we took you out here. Time out. Okay. Do you want to see my blaster? Hey, no, hands off the trigger. It's a weapon. It's not a toy. Well, I, I'm a child. You just gave me a gun. Listen, okay, you're 50. You're not a child. Well, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. What do you want to eat? Shawarma. Okay, I, I can, yeah, let's, let's go get a shawarma. And a special thanks to Glenn. Glenn is going to do a haka for us. He is a teacher, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. Much appreciated. Much love. Kia ora, kia ora tatu. So hello to everybody and a uh, uh, big shout out to Joel. Is this was actually for you, brother. And this is for Peter Land because you guys are awesome and this whole event was awesome. And thank you very much for uh, in including us uh, at this time. So this haka is um, one that uh, uh, it's better if I explain it first. The haka is the breath of fire. Ha in Maori is uh, breath and ka in Maori is fire, so this is the breath of fire, and this is the way that we um, uh, connect with others and connect with the earth and connect with uh, ancestry. And this haka is uh, to tell a, uh, a lesson, a life lesson about uh, basically a parent and a, uh, and a child telling them that uh, he recognizes the problems that the child has, how long has he had those problems, and he can tell him one thing that uh, is truth, that the answer to the problem lies inside inside him. He knows the, the answers are inside him, and this is the way that it is. Cool. So this is, this is it. Kia ora! Ki whakaranga! Kia ora! Thanks, Glenn. Wow, thank you.